once you've learned the basics of Google Drive, being able to create documents, presentations, and forms, the next step is being able to uh, collaborate with others and create content together. And the first step in doing that is to create a shared folder, where you can share all the content in a folder with someone else. Notice on my account now I have different folders, and you can tell if they're shared because they have a small little icon of a person's head and shoulders, which means they're shared with someone else. So I can click and open this up, this folder, and it shows all the content within this folder. And this folder actually has other subfolders within it, and it shows who the owner of this folder or the file is, and it shows who it was last modified by. So you can tell that um, this is my science teaching team where I, where I teach, and you can tell that we work together on a lot of different things to create content. To create a new folder, click on the red Create button and click on Folder and give your folder a name. I'm going to call this Sample. And then click on Create. Notice how the folder is now at the very top of my drive list and it says Sample Folder. On the left hand side under My Drive you can click on the arrow to expand your drive into the different folders. The drop down arrow next to Sample Folder shows you some options you can have. From here you can open the folder can create a new folder within it, you can create content within the folder, you can share the folder, you can rename it, you can organize it, you can change the color, so I'm just going to change this to green, and that might be easier to um, organize your content if it's color coded. If I click on the drop down arrow next to sample folder, I can click on the share button and share with collaborators. Any name that I type in the Add People box will have access to all the content created within the folder. So I can type in someone's email address, and if I share it with that person, anything else that I either move into the folder or create within the folder, they will have access to. And notice how it says Can Edit. So that would override all of the, the settings for sharing for all the fo files in this folder. So no matter what the file would be, it would, uh, by standard, it would be editable by the other people that you share with. Also notice how the privacy setting is set to private. Only the people listed below can access. So I can change that to anyone with the link. So it's not searchable online through a search engine, but anyone with the link can still access it and no sign-ins required. I could also make it public on the web. So if it's something that's not confidential, you could publish it to anyone who be part to, to look at this and to access this content. Most of the time, if you're working with a team, you would like to keep this private. Only the people that you have granted access to these files will be allowed to access these. I'm going to go ahead and share this folder with my other account, which is awbone at gmail.com, and I'm going to leave the setting to be uh, can edit, so that way that I can edit all the content within this folder on my other account as well and then I'm going to share and save. And I can see my picture popped up from my personal account and there I am. So notice how now this folder is accessible by me here and this other account as well. You can tell what folder you have open by looking at the very top of the screen where it says my drive and sample folder or on the left hand side uh, notice how sample folder is bold and red. So this is the folder I've opened. To add a file to a shared folder, you can go to My Drive and then just drag and drop any file that's in your Drive account into the sample folder or into your shared folder. So I can go ahead and choose this quiz over thermal energy. I can click on it, drag it over, and drop it into sample folder, which is shared. And now if I click on my shared folder, that file is within the folder. You can also upload a file directly into the folder if your folder is open and click on upload file and that will upload the file directly into the shared folder so then people who are on the shared list will have access to that file automatically. If I would create a new document within this folder, notice how it says create in a shared folder. The created item will have the same sharing permissions as the selected folder. That way anything you create while this folder is open will save it within the folder and everyone within that collaborating list, that shared list, will have access to the file. So I'm going to create and share a new document.
Here's an example document I've made and shared with someone else so we can collaborate together and work on it at the same time. If you notice in the top right hand corner of the screen, there is now a different colored square. And notice how it says that a new user, Morris KE725, has opened the document. You can see where she is editing the document with her color cursor in the document. And in this case, this is a sample student project that's on a planet, and you can see that she just added where it says Neptune, and I can highlight that, and I can make changes to it if I want to. And there you can see she inserted a picture of Neptune, where it says to insert a picture of the planet here. And let's say I really like that picture, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close over this chat window, and scroll down. I'm going to hide the picture, and I want to add a comment related just to this picture. At the top of the screen, there is a button that looks like a little speech bubble, and it says insert a comment. I'm going to click on that. Now this comment will be tied directly to this picture. So I'm going to type in, great picture, I really like it, and click comment. Now while she's working, she will see the same comment and she can comment back onto what I commented about her picture. Notice how she commented back and you can say that she said thank you. So you can make comments that are directed towards specific parts of a document or you can make comments in a separate chat window. If you click where it says the other viewers that are viewing your document it brings up a chat window on the right hand side. So I might say doing a great job Let's try to finish this by midnight. And then she on her side would click on the same area in the top right hand corner where it says two other viewers and she can add her comment to my comment. So you can have an ongoing chat in the right hand side of the screen while the document can be edited on the left hand side. And while she's making her comment, I can see how she has added information. She said the name of the planet, Neptune, um, and she added the diameter of the planet in kilometers. So the beauty of doing this collaboration on Google Drive is you don't have to be in the same place at the same time. You can do it at your own pace. If she wants to make some changes while I am um, doing something else, and while I'm busy, she can add information to this. Now I'm going to go in the top right corner and click on where our chat window was again. And notice how um, she said, can you double check my information? So I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, I will do that. Now I'll look through, looks pretty good so far. And she added a new comment that says, it refers to this text, so I'll click there, and it says, I know it is a gas giant, and the image shows it is blue. Do you know any other facts about this? And I can say, yes, Neptune is very cold and has violent storms on its surface. So notice how this comment is related directly to the document and the comments in the chat window are just about the entire thing. That can be something on the side. It also shows in the chat window who has opened the document, when people leave the document, and when things change. So if you have more than one collaborator besides yourself, you can see who all is viewing it and who all has been there and left, and you can access the list of users currently collaborating on the document there too. Now as I'm double checking the information, I know she said that Neptune's rotation period is six days. And I know that's wrong. I know it should be 16 hours. So I'm going to highlight this and insert another comment and say, actually, uh, the rotation period is 16 hours. So if I am the teacher giving feedback to my student, I can just make that comment, and then she can go back herself, and she can change back to what it should be. So this can be useful, the, the comment section for specific parts of the document can be useful for giving feedback on a paper a student has written, or an assignment they are completing. And she said, thanks for catching that, and she's making the change now.
and we can continue working together on this collaboratively for as long as we need to. Notice how this was resolved and she made the change to her information so I click on the resolve next to that comment and that will disappear. In the top of the screen you see how now it's flashing where it says other viewers. I'll click there again to open up. That means there's a new message in the chat window and it says I'm going to sign off and work on this more tomorrow. Thanks for your help. And I'll respond back. Um, it was great working with you. I'll see you tomorrow. When she logs off, she will no longer be here in the other users that are currently viewing the document. And I can see the history of what we've done by clicking on the comments button. When I reopen this document at a later time, I can always refer back to the revisions that were made uh, throughout our collaboration. If I click on File, and then click on See Revision History, it will bring up a window on the right hand side that shows the different versions of this document as changes were made. Now this shows just four major changes, and if you'll notice on each revision, it shows who made the changes. So the latest one was made just by um, this user in this change if I click on it it shows what was changed and who made the changes so it shows that I deleted this inner planet rocky surface and that there were some things were added by the other user in pink on the bottom if I click on show more detailed revisions it will show every change that was made and who it was made by with each revision this can be useful so you can access the older versions of a document without having to make saves because saving on Google Drive happens automatically all the time.